Shalom on my kingdom, brother, put back at you. True. Start by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rekah Kadash. Double honors and respect go to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who well teach, well lead in Israel by great example to this day. Peace, salutation to the elect. Teaching and preaching is truth and is righteousness, purity, and sincerity. And waiting on Yahweh Shai for salvation. Shalom on my kingdom. Okay? Um. Me and Tanya's video How the Lord should visit you You know Um <clears throat> Yah Bashim Yashai is visiting this place With storms He's, The Lord is now speaking man You know it's, it's, it's been a long time the Lord have hold his peace So now you, As you see the media uh, Pockets of judgment Is going forth Alright so all the uh, all the uh, the loudspeakers and the, you know big doubters and the uh, uh, the uh, the false believers, all right. What 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 are you gonna do when the Lord visits you, man? You know. I'm gonna start with this scripture, um, Isaiah 29:6. Thou shalt be visited of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh host with thunder and with earthquake and great noise. With storm and tempest and the flame of devour fire, fire, right? You know the Alba Shemashai is visiting this place with with, with the, the tempest, okay, and storm. All right. So let's look at the word tempest. Tempest was is Ka'ar Ka'ar or Sha'ar Sha'ar. Okay, etymology Storm Rage to storm, stormy, growing storm to be enraged, to storm away, to be driven by storm. Sha'ar. Okay, now let's look at the lexicon. It says. storm all right and what he, how he visit how he's visiting the earth he's visiting the earth with a with a uh with cold, ice cold uh weathers man you know uh, uh chilling weathers you know there's a polar vortex of of the cold areas it's po possibly esau could be using a harp device but it's still ultimately through yahweh outside you know the lord is using this storm to destroy the crops you know Making people uh, 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 suffer, you know, through freezing cold temperatures. All right, people are have people are going uh, have have power out outages. Okay, so these are the people that 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 um going to Egypt for help, and is is now uh, being visited by Yahweh Bashimashai's anger. Okay. Isaiah chapter 31 Verse 1 Woe unto them that go down to Egypt for help And stay on horses Okay And horses represent those horse, Horses represent those powers Okay those governments those rulers Okay Who stay on horses and trust in chariots Because there are many And in horsemen because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek Yahweh by Shimei Okay, so woe unto them that go down to Egypt for help. You know, you know, two thirds of our people go down to Egypt for help. Okay, you know, these heathens, 
you know, look at look at Egypt as a as a um a idol figure, okay? That they could be helped by them, you know, of of you know of protection. When these people are completely deceiving the mass number of the people, man, you know, your only way out and the only help is the is the true power of the Bible, which his name is Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai, who is the only begotten Son. Okay, and if you don't have these names, you are not protected. You know, point blank, period, man. Okay. It says, verse 2. So, Yahweh Bashim Shai yelled at it, you know, yelled at the two thirds of our people. Woe unto you that go down to Egypt for help, man. You know? You don't want to seek the Lord. Basically, you're seeking a, a, a death. You know? The Lord is not an author of confusion. So, verse 2, yet he also is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his words, but will arise against the house of the evildoers and against the help of them that work iniquity. The Lord is against evil, man. You know? So, he's going to rise up against the evildoers, which is Esau, Edom. And the other nations, the so-called white people, and the, uh, uh, you know, and the, and the um the other nations, man, you know. So, the Lord said, you know, He's not going to call back His words. He, once His judgment go forth, you know, hey man, you get caught in it. That means you you've been a wicked, you you've been wicked, and you're a sinner, you know. First three. Now the Egyptians are men. Here's the point: the Egyptians are men. Know? They don't have spiritual power. They don't have, they don't have uh, wise counsels. You know, they're only destroying people, man. The populating people. That's their part of their agenda, a part of their new world order, a part of their um, the, the Georgia Guidestones. You know, their goal is to make uh, 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 five hundred have make people. Um, and their goal is to depopulate the uh, the earth to five hundred million, man. You know. Now the Egyptians are men, their flesh, and not the Most High, which is spirit. And their horse is flesh, okay, and not spirit. You know, they're mere men, is what Yahweh Bashim Shai is talking about. When Yahweh shall stretch out his hand by way of the prophets, the prophets is out there stretching out our hand to the nation of Israel, you know, telling them to turn back before it's too late, you know, warn, the, warn our people. You know, the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Shai and also warning them not to do uh, uh not to follow the way of the wicked, taking a taking a jab, you know, taking a uh the the uh, the RFID chip, you know. We warn our people not to do these things, man. But hey man, you know, that's on y'all. We we're, we're moving on. Because Yahweh Bashim is getting ready to judge you people, man. Jacob trouble is right on is on the brink. You know, and 2021 has been one hell of a year, man. You know, prophecies are speaking. You know, <clears throat> now the Egyptians are men and not the Most High, and their horses flesh and not spirit. Okay, they don't have the Holy Spirit. You know, your Christianity uh, 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 is, is is failing miserably. Okay, false prophets and false um. Hamashiach is rising up, okay, and they're failing miserably. They all cut, 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 they cut to the soul. You know the media is hurt. They don't know what to say, okay. When Yahweh shall stretch out his hand by way of the prophets, both he that help, helpeth, shall fall, and he that hoping shall fall down, and they shall all fall, fail together, okay. You know, I have a precept for that. But everybody failing together, man. They're trying to get at the Hebrew Israelites, and they're all failing, you know, because this word is too powerful, man, you know. Yahweh, uh, Psalms 33, chapter uh, chapter 33, verse 10, Yahweh bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. He maketh the devices of the people of none effect. The plans of the people, the vice goes into plans, okay? So their plans is trying to overthrow the Israelites. And which is not is, is not effective, okay? You know, begin with the elect. They're trying to overthrow us, but it's not effective because 
we speak on the behalf of Yahweh Bashim Yashah through this word. Okay, the Bible is a true living document. Yahweh Shah is returning. Okay, the counsels of the he, the counsel of Yahweh stand forever. The thoughts of his heart to all generations. Okay, all generations of the children of Israel. All right. So you see the Lord messing up this place, man. You know the Lord is speaking. Let's go to um, Second Address. Second Address, chapter nine, verse one. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before." So the Lord told us this thousands of years ago, man. I told you before, you know. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest shall be, highest will begin to visit the world which he has made. Okay, so you see, you see it, man. You know, it's right in front of our eyes. You know, storms. Okay, prophets is uh, the Lord's prophets is preaching at a at a high frequency. Okay, you know, more chariot sightings. You know, more uh, more uh. uh more judgment is going forth. You know, a lot of killings has, ha has been happening lately. You know, throughout the whole, throughout the whole, uh, throughout the whole earth, man. A lot of killings, man. There've been some grievous punishments so far, but this is only the beginning. Okay. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things. You and you see it. You know, every, protesters all over the place. You know, they 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 are uh, uh, cursing out their government, their you know their their um their kings. Okay, speak of those things from the days that were before thee, and even from the beginning. So yeah, man, Yabashim Yashai is is going is dealing with you people like how he dealt with Egypt. Okay, you know you proud ass women, yeah. Y'all gonna get punished bad, man. You know? Like, keep that same energy that y'all have going on right now. You know? The Lord is having the mercy for y'all to get the little jobs and, you know, make you a little money. But when Yahweh Bashim Yashai starts speaking, you know, uh, uh, by way of his judgments, y'all gonna, a bunch of y'all gonna get caught in that, man. You know? Y'all gonna be like a bunch of roaches getting caught in a, in a poison, in a poison roach, uh, um, Poison roach spray, okay. So the Lord's taking out that poison roach spray to spray you, 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 you wicked people, man. You know, you wicked roaches. All right. The Lord is surely speaking. All right. All right. Book of Psalms, chapter 83, verse, fit, let's start verse 13. Oh, my power, make them like a wheel as the stubble before the wind. Okay, that's by way of the nuclear missiles. All right. They, the Lord is going to turn them like a wheel, man. You know, you know how you burn something up? Like, you, let's say, for instance, um, you burn up like a little wheel. And it start, you know, it starts uh, uh, disintegrating, you know, and turn to ash. That's how the Lord's going to do you people with these nuclear missiles and Yahweh Shai and the holy angels, man. You know, oh my power, make them like a wheel as the stubble before the wind. Verse fourteen, as the fire burn of wood, and as a as the flame set the mountains on fire, setting those gov governments, and those rulerships on fire. So persecute them. With thy tempest, okay, and, and with the rage, Yahweh is using the, using the coal as as his rage, man. You know, freezing everything up, destroying the crops. You know, with freezing temperatures, man. You know, the Lord is speaking, all right. 
all right so persecute them with thy tempest and make them afraid with thy storm all right these people are afraid man everybody's lining up you know at fast food restaurants you know in, in the um, south states you know, with no power through you know finish you know Hey man, you people keep the same prideful energy, all right? <laughs> when when judgment go forth, let's see how y'all gonna react, man. You know, because we the prophet is gonna ready to laugh at y'all. Fill their faces with shame that they may seek the name of Yahweh. Okay. So when the Lord start really speaking, y'all gonna try to seek that name and y'all ain't gonna get it. But the prophets is gonna have it, and that day Yahweh Shemir Shai is gonna um, make us dumb, meaning not, not to speak. We don't know anything, okay? Let me see if I can get one. Let's get. Get the book of Luke, book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 49. I am come to send fire on the earth. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. And what will I if I if it be already kindled? So the Lord is sending his anger on the earth, man. You know, but I have a baptism to be baptized with. And how am I straight until it be accomplished? You know, how you know how how difficult it's gonna be for you people, man. You know, until it be accomplished. Suppose ye that I come to get peace on earth, I tell you nay, but rather division. And the Lord is dividing this place up, man. You know? By way of these these vaccines, you know, di being distributed in different parts of the earth, all right? And also, you know, the, the Lord is um, separating the righteous from the wicked, all right? The, the men of the Lord are doing the right things. You people are doing nothing but wicked and wickedness and they are continuously uh, growing in your folly, man. You know? So, you know, what will you do when the Lord visits you, man? Let me see if I can grab it. Let Let's go to um yeah Isaiah chapter ten God verse three and what will ye do in the day of visitation and in the desolation which shall come from far because Yahweh Shai is coming from the east he's coming from far he's coming from the uh, fourth di dimension uh, uh, aerial point of view okay so who will ye flee for help? You can't fly to your governments because everybody's going to turn on each other. Martial law is going to be in effect. Okay? And will we leave your glory? You know, all the cars, clothes, money, holes that you have, they go, that's going to be gone from you. Verse 4, without me, they shall bow down under the prisoners, and they shall fall under the slain. For all this, all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. Okay? By way of Yahweh Shai. All right, and the prophets, you know, we are prisoners of hope. All right, so the Lord's getting man, the Lord's about to finish this place. Verse 5 O Assyrian, the rod of my anger and the staff in their hand is my indignation. Who has the staff right now? Esau, Edom, he's, he, he's the anger of the Lord. <coughs> okay, I will send him against a hypocritical nation, which is Israel, and against the people of my wrath. Will I give him a charge? Why? Because you, you, you niggas, man. You know, y'all don't want to. Y'all need to repent, man, before it's too late. Okay, y'all, y'all, y'all crying about your grandma's dying. Y'all crying about you know, your cousins getting shot in the head. Y'all crying about this, that, and the third. But y'all still won't repent, man. You know. So the Lord is sending the rod of His anger, man, which is Esau or Edom. You know. They're going to come down with those military troops and martial law is going to be declared, man. You know?
know. They got these concentration camps ready for y'all, y'all niggas, man. But the elect, the elect is gonna be protected and preserved. But you niggas, man, especially you nigga women, yeah, man, y'all gonna be balling out. You know, like little, like little crybabies, like new, newborn babies. I will send him against a hypocritical nation, against the people of my rap. Will I give him a charge to take, take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the streets? Okay. And that's what the Lord's gonna do, declare martial law so the army troops can uh, 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 attack you niggas, man. You know? I wanna end it. So yeah, man, the Lord is definitely speaking. He's speaking by way of his, his storms. You know, the, you know the the, the I, uh, freezing cold temperatures, okay. You know, very hot. Uh, it was very hot uh, last summer. You know, the Lord is speaking, man. So the Lord's gonna really go and get your attention by you know by way of his storms and and by where more judgment going forth, okay. So we're gonna end it with uh, Matthew five verse five. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. All right, and blessed are they do, which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see Yahweh. Blessed are the peacemaker, for they shall be called children of Yahweh. So th this is the prophets, man. You know, the men of the Lord, the elect, the men, women, and children that believe upon the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, believe in the spirit of prophecy, which is, um, which, which is the spirit of Yahweh Shai, you know. So they go, we're gonna inherit, you know, all these good things, but we have to go through, you know, the the, the fire on one side, the water on the other. Okay. So blessed are they that which are persecuted for the righteous for righteousness' sake, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Okay, so we're gonna end it at that, you know. So we about to inherit the kingdom of heaven, and because we followed the law, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability, and kept the faith of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, believing upon the works of Yahweh Shai. I mean Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that's that's being displayed upon earth. You know, all the works of the Lord is true and is pure. Okay, so if people are getting judgment. They are, you know, they they they. they they worship death. They worship Shaitan. Okay? We worship righteousness. We worship life. Which is why the Lord wanted us to laugh at the wicked. Because they they seek in death. You know? They don't want life. So, Lord, Lord, Lord Yahweh Shai is very near to come back. You know? Be prepared. Get your minds uh, um, sobered up and, and, and uh, stable and diligent. You know? And vigilant, you know, study up, pray up, do what you can to um, be be found blameless on the behalf of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai when Yahweh Shai returns. All right, keep the faith, and keep believing, and keep hoping for that salvation, that golden ticket to the chariot, so we can get this kingdom. You know, Lord willing, we have that number. That's why we put on the hope, you know, put on therefore as the elect. Okay. Well, when this lesson was edified, I want to end up by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Rakakadash. Double honors and respect go to the apostles and elders of great millstone who will well and teach well and lead Israel by Israel by great example to his name. Peace, salutation to the elect, teaching and preaching the truth and his righteousness, purity and sincerity, and waiting on Yahushai for salvation. Shalom, Akim, Wa Akwathium. To strong in the spirit, we almost out of here with the salvation, Yahushai. Shalom.